Welcome to this introductory course of Flappy Capsule using Unity and Playmaker. My name is Stefan Buikens. I'm an architect and engineer from Belgium. And I just want to introduce you to some basic concepts, handling game mechanics, setting up simple interactions, and using Playmaker. This course will not focus on game graphics or on uh, sprites or on images or effects. It's just basic game mechanics that you can apply in many different situations. Let's give you an example of what our end result will look like. If we press play, we see our player jumping and we can push up and down. And we see that there are different poles that are passing by. Um, we just click the player, the hero goes up and down. And we'll see the different poles, they arrive, they move, they get cleaned up. And whenever we hit something, uh, we get the restart button so far we and we can launch our We're not game going again. to tweak it any further. Then we'll use a quad object, which we position above the object, the, above our hero object, which will act as a ceiling. Just put it on the Y position 5 and turn it 270 degrees on the X, X rigid body component to the object. If you press play now, you'll see that our hero is just falling down and being held by the, the lower play. playmaker in the actions tab uh, pane. And we add the any key action and we send the up event. Whenever we press a key, we will go to the other state. And in the other state, we'll have to do something and we'll add a force. Um, not an explosion force, but we'll add a regular force to our current Whenever game object. Whenever we collide with the player object, but for that we need to ensure that our hero is tagged properly to the player which it should be already defined in our main scene. So if we go back to the lower plane, we'll send the event. We'll hit. put it to the right, uh, so plus 10, just a fixed value. You can adjust it in, for your particular case, but it is to the right of the player. And the Y position, you will use the float offset we just calculated. If we just press play, we see that the two poles jump up to the right Great um, object action needs a prefab, so that is why we turned the poles into a prefab in the last video. And that's at this point, it's all we need to do. So we can delete the prefab from the scene, and it will be initiated from the project. So we press play, and we see there is our pole. It is a clone, and it is created. Um, it, it has the same behavior as we defined, but it is initiated, instantiated by the game and manager. Convert the score value to the s underscore the score string. And we give it a form at score column zero, and the zero will be replaced by the what actual we value now? of the score. Um, we'll add a new event. We'll add an event at score, at underscore score. And this event will also make global, which means it can be called from other state machines. 